Hi guys, I hope that you're having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. Get ready for some eye candy because today I'm gonna to be sharing my entire Louis Vuitton handbag collection. Oh yeah, baby. So I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get this show on the road, shall we? All right, so I think that this is probably my sixth year, if I'm not mistaken, filming this video. And every time I do this video, I like to give a little bit of information on each of the bags without getting too carried away because I don't want this to be 100 years long either. Plus, I've done reviews on the majority of these handbags. And if there is a bag that you guys know that I haven't done a review on that you would like me to, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm also gonna be separating them by prints just because I think it might make it a little bit easier for myself. And I'm gonna begin with the ones that I have one of that print or what have you. Um, uh, all right, so I'm a little bit nervous because yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's do this. First up is the Felici. This is in the red emprunt leather. I absolutely love this color. I think it is gorgeous. Uh, truth be told, I don't use this bag as often as I thought I would have, uh, but I still think it's great. It has a great little space in there. I love that it comes with two little SLGs that you can use with it, or you can use these with other, uh, with other bags or just use them like so. So this is great for like grab and go, running errands, or if you just wanted to use it as a little clutch, I think it is very, very versatile. So huge, huge fan of this bag. Uh, all right, next up is a discontinued beauty, and that is the Baggy PM in the pink denim, the OG denim, uh, the collaboration with Marc Jacobs. And uh, this is currently stuffed because if it's not stuffed, it turns into a beautiful mess, a beautiful mess I love nonetheless, but I absolutely love this bag. Now I know that denim I think that you either love denim or you hate it. And for me personally, sometimes it's a hair miss, but with this collection, I loved all the pieces, especially the baggy PM and the mini pleat and the mini pleaty. Those, those two handbags always had my heart. Uh, but I think that this is great. I love that it has a little bit of a slouch. It's very comfortable. It's very spacious. And, uh, I think, I think it's absolutely amazing. So huge, huge fan. You guys are going to hear that throughout this entire video. So just know that you might want to keep a count of every time I say, Oh my God, I absolutely love this bag. I sound like a broken record sometimes. <laughs> uh, all right, so anyways, next up is the extra small keep all. This is in the reverse monogram eclipse. You guys know that monogram eclipse is one of those prints that I think that they should have like like a zillion bags in that print because I think it is so insanely fabulous. It's so carefree, it's edgy, it's chic uh, without being too loud either. You know, I don't know, but that's the way I feel about it. But this little bag, this has also been discontinued, if I'm not mistaken, this particular uh, this particular one. But I think it's great, again, because it's carefree. It does come with a strap. This strap is horrible, in my opinion. It's uncomfortable, it digs into my skin. So I usually end up using it with a chain. But um, I think it's just so, so, so cute. And it's perfect for those days when you just wanna, when you just wanna grab a bag, you don't wanna think about it. And especially if it's raining, that's one of my go-to bags for sure. Uh, all right, next up is another discontinued beauty. That is the Petite Noé in the multicolor white. So I think that like the denim collection, the multicolor, you either love it or you hate it. And for me personally, this is a print, be it the white or the black, the original multicolor. Uh, it's going to be a print that I will forever love. Today, tomorrow, always. I, there's just something about it. I love the colors. They're so vibrant. They're so vivid. And it just makes me insanely happy every time I use this bag. Uh, but as far as the Petite Noé goes, look at this. Not so petite. This thing is crazy spacious. I love the bucket style. I know that a lot of people are kind of turned off by it because it does have so much leather, but uh, I'm okay with it. I purchased it with some water stains and uh, yeah, I don't mind it because it gives the bag a little bit of a story. So huge, huge, huge fan of the No Way style as you guys will see as you guys will see throughout this video. Now on to Damia Ben, the Alma BB. This is such a great little bag. I think it's fantastic. It's small, but it packs a punch. I've had PM uh, Almas and MM Almas throughout the years, but for me, the BB is definitely where it's at because like I said before, it is small, but it fits everything that I absolutely need. It's, it's great. It's absolutely great. It doesn't come with the greatest strap because it's not adjustable, although it is removable. So 
So that way, if you wanted to incorporate a different one for a longer crossbody, or, or if you wanted to use a chain or what have you to give it a different look, you have that option. So I absolutely, absolutely love it. I just, I think it's amazing. I would love to add another Alma BB to my collection. Next is the Classic Speedy 30. I'll be completely honest with you guys, I don't use this bag too often. Throughout the year, I probably use it maybe eight to 10 times, uh, but I still think that it's great. For me, the Classic 30 is the perfect size for handheld. Uh, there's just something about it. And what I love about Speedies is that <laughs> people call them a bottomless pit, uh, but I love that because you guys know I like to carry everything in the kitchen sink. And for me, the 30 is the perfect size without being too, too big either. So uh, I love it. Currently, I do have uh, a little organizer in there, but um, I love using these without the organizer because I am a huge, huge fan of the Speedy Sag. Uh, all right, next is the Pochette Accessoire. These are great little grab and go. I mean, if you are running errands, if you are on vacation, if you're going out for date night, what have you, these are, these are it. Um, I know that the price point has gone up over the years. And even at their current price point, I personally think that they're worth it just because they are so insanely versatile. Uh, so I think, I think that they're great. I think that they're absolutely fantastic as you guys will see throughout this video. Next is the Neverfull MM. So you guys know how I feel about the Neverfull. I'm not gonna give you an earful. All I can say is that this is my end all be all tote, as you guys will see throughout this video, but I think it's amazing. Damia Ben is my all time favorite print, uh, plus it's the OG for the fashion house. And I think that this is the greatest representation of the print because not only do you have the stunning chocolate squares on the exterior, but then you have the this delicious red interior. I mean, I live for this red interior. It is such a great, such a great combination. I don't know, but oh, I love, love, love the Neverfull. Uh, all right, and the last of the Damien Ben is the Trevi PM. So the Trevi PM has been discontinued. Uh, I love how much hardware this has going on. It has a lot of bells and whistles, and normally I'm not too fond of bells and whistles, but on this, I think it absolutely works. Uh, now, it does come with a strap that I don't use as a shoulder bag because I think I look, I look kind of stupid with it on as a shoulder bag, so I mostly use it for decoration. Uh, now, I will have to say that um, this bag bag is heavy on its own. It's heavy. Then you add your stuff in here, dude, it's like a little mini workout. And seeing as how I usually use it as a hand, a hand carry bag around the crook of my arm, by the end of the day, I'm like, oh my God, I need to switch this thing out. But even with all that said, I still am madly in love with it. I don't know. It's just one of those bags, you know, do you guys have those bags in the, in your collection where you're just like, oh, it's such a workout to use. It's so heavy. It's so this, but you still absolutely love it, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, all right, so now let's move on to Jamie Azure. Uh, all right, the first one is the classic Speedy 30. As you guys heard me say, uh, this is the perfect handheld Speedy. Now, as you guys can see, you guys will notice it with the other one that I'm about to show you. Uh, this one has definitely yellowed over time. I don't mind the yellowing. I think it actually looks great, especially because it already has that honey golden patina. So I am all for it. But um, I love this little bag. And again, the Speedy Sag, so, so, so here for it. And it fits everything. It fits everything that you need. All right, next is uh, my ET, which is the Speedy 25 Bandolier, uh, the newest, or one of the newest to my collection. Now look at the difference between the two. Like, you can really see how yellow this bag has gotten. And I am very careful when I store it. I store it in its dust bag, I store it away from the sunlight, but I use it all the time. So the canvas is going to change just when you're out and about. But look at the difference. This is like stark, stark white compared to, <laughs> to this one. Crazy, right? I love it. But ET, look at this. I love ET. It's starting to get a little bit of that base patina, but, um, Ah, I'm excited. This one does have an organizer. Uh, I got an organizer for it, but sometimes I use it with it. Sometimes I don't. It just depends on the day or how I'm feeling. Next is the Galliera PM. This is a repurchase because I did have this bag many, many moons ago. I sold it and I repurchased it this year and I couldn't be happier. It is such a great shoulder bag. It's so comfortable. It's so easy to use. I mean, I can use it for extended periods of time. No problem. This strap doesn't dig into my skin whatsoever. And I love how spacious it is as well. I mean, 
Look at that. I can fit everything I need and then some, I don't know, but this, this bag is amazing. I am seriously considering getting this in monogram as well because it was available once upon a time in Damia Ben, although you mostly end up seeing it in Damia Zora in monogram, but I have thought about getting it in monogram as well because I am that crazy about it. Next is the Pochette Accessoire, and kind of like what I mentioned with the Damia Ben one, I think that these are great little bags. They are so insanely versatile. You can incorporate them into various ways into your lifestyle, and I really love it in Damia Zor, especially if you are thinking of venturing into this print and you're unsure of how it's going to work out for your lifestyle, and maybe you don't want to go for a big Damia Zor bag, and maybe you don't want to go for a handheld bag, and you don't want to go for SLGs. I think that this is a great way to go. It's a great way to get your feet wet with this print to see how it's going to work out for you, especially because you can take off the strap and either add a chain or add a longer crossbody option, what have you. I just, I think that they are absolutely amazing. Uh, all right. And then the last for the Jamie Azores is the Neverfull MM. This is my favorite Neverfull, as you guys can tell, because this bag has seen some things. Uh, it has this beautiful honey golden patina, and then it starts to get a little bit darker in the middle, but I, I think it's great. I've gotten color transfer on it. This this bag has so many memories and I wouldn't change it for the world. It's dirty. It just, I don't know. It's one of those handbags for me that don't think about it. Grab and go. You know, it is what it is. If I get color transfer on it again, so be it. I don't care because I'm going to enjoy it to the fullest. And um, yeah, I, <laughs> I think I think it's wonderful. So don't be afraid of Damien Zor. Don't be afraid of Damien Zor. I know that, you know, it is prone to color transfer, as I mentioned before, but it's such a great print. Whether you have it you know, that's a little bit more of a honey golden patina with the leather, or if you have it look like ET, like this one is, I don't, I don't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I think that the print is so, such a fresh print and you don't have to use it for spring and summer. It can be a year round type of print in my opinion. All right, now for monogram. Now this next item, I personally don't consider it to be a handbag, but it is what it is. I'm talking about the Micro Matisse. This is such a cute little bag. It has a ridiculous price point for what it is. However, even though I don't use it as a handbag, I mostly end up using it as a catch-all or as a wallet. That's actually how I'm using it right now. I don't know, man, but it is so insanely cute and it's been in constant rotation ever since I got it. So what can I say? Next is the multi pochette. So uh, I am missing the little uh, little keychain that goes on here. I'm just too lazy to put it together for this video because as you guys know, I don't use this as a handbag. I don't like it. I don't like the way that it looks. I think it looks so insanely busy whenever I've tried to like put it on. No, absolutely not because when I first saw this bag, the first thing that I thought of was, oh my God, they would be amazing SLGs separately. And that's exactly how I have used it. So I don't use them together at all. You will never ever see me wearing this together. It's just, it's just not for me. It's too busy. It's uncomfortable. It's just, it's just not my style, especially these things. These guitar straps, hideous. They have to go, but Anywho, that's for a different video. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, next is the pochette accessoire. Again, I'm not going to give you guys an earful because I've already told you how I feel about them. Uh, but this is also a bag that is in constant rotation in the summertime because if I want something small uh, that I'm able to carry all of my bare essentials, or actually a little bit more than my bare essentials, this is perfect in the summertime when I don't want uh, when I don't want those bigger bags. Uh, all right, next is one of my favorite bags, and that is the side trunk. This bag, you guys are gonna be seeing quite a bit over the next few videos, just keep that in mind, but I am crazy about it. Uh, there is not a thing that I would change on it. Absolutely not. I think it is perfect the way that it is. Uh, I end up using it like so, even though it does end up coming with a longer strap. I don't really like the longer strap. I like it like this as a shoulder bag or as a hand carry bag. I am just over the moon with how much hardware this has. I think it's great. I already have some scuffs on there, which as you guys know, I am looking forward to those scuffs because I don't want it to look cookie cutter. I don't want it to look perfect. I want it to tell a story. And seeing as how it is kind of a trunk from Louis Vuitton, the trunks, again, I don't want them to be perfect. I want them to have a little bit of wear and tear and scratches and stuff like that because it makes them so unique, in my opinion, because no two bags will have the same journey. No, 
know. But uh, I am so, so crazy about it. And I'm even crazier about the fact that they are going to be releasing this bag in Damien Azor next year. Like, you don't even know. The countdown has begun. Uh, all right, moving on to the Nano Noe. As you guys can see, I did, with the help of the hubs, take off the straps. I was feeling a little bit spicy because the strap was not removable. It was not adjustable and I wasn't having that. Uh, I really wanted to have a little bit more versatility with it, so the strap went bye-bye. I still have it here. Um, but, uh, you know, being able to add a chain on here or add a little top handle for uh, more of a bucket look to it, I don't know, but these are such cute little bags, and this one honestly doesn't fit as much. I mean, it's a nano bag, and this is probably the one that fits the least, in my opinion, when it comes to the whole nano uh, collection. Yeah, it's not it's not the most generous. It's not like itty bitty like you can only fit a tic tac. No, but yeah, it can. It, it's it's a little small. Next is the Noe BB. This is also a newer bag to my collection. I absolutely love it. I've been having a blast with it ever since I added it, and I think it's wonderful. It does not come with the strap. This guy I added to the bag just because I wanted more of a bucket look. It does come with a longer removable adjustable strap that you can use crossbody. Personally, I'm not too fond of this bag as a crossbody bag just because it is a little bit wider and it kind of protrudes off my body a little more than I would like. So again. And for me personally, I like to use it like so, but I am crazy about it. I have the opening set uh, exactly where I want it so that way I can get in and out of it without having to undo the little bow. I'm not too fond of the sliders either, but I love the way that this looks and it already has a really nice base patina as well, which I'm excited about, but love, love, love the Noe BB and it's not too small, which is fantastic. Next is the Palm Springs mini backpack. This is one of those bags that even though it's small, trust me when I tell you it packs a punch. It's amazing. Mine is the old version because it does have the hidden, uh, the hidden zipper. I am not going to trade this bag for anything in the world because this was a gift from the hubs and from Edward. So it has a very special place in my heart, but this little backpack, I love the versatility that it has because it does come with those straps that are color treated or does come with color treated leather so you don't have to worry about water stains or anything like that. It's a great travel bag, but you can use it as a, as a backpack. You can use it as a shoulder bag. I mean, there's just so many ways that you can incorporate it into your life or add a different strap to give it a completely different look. I don't know, but this is such a great little bag. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And uh, I've had people ask me if I think that this is childish. No. Do I think that you have to be 20 years old to use this? No. I think that this bag will look absolutely fabulous on you, whether you are five years old or 500 years old, it does not matter. I think it is amazing. Next is the Montserrat GM backpack. This backpack has since been revamped, which is the one that you guys see on the website right now. I like that one, but personally, I like this one a lot more. This is also a repurchase because I had it 100 million years ago, uh, but uh, I added it back to the collection and yeah, it's not going anywhere. I think it is fabulous. It is currently stuffed uh, just to give it a little bit of a better look, but uh, I, I, love, I love how spacious it is. Uh, it might seem like like it's a little too big, but no, nah. it's great for travel. It's great for every day running errands. I don't use both straps mostly. I end up just kind of carrying it like this on one shoulder, but it's comfortable and it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. I mean, you can carry everything and the kitchen sink, your sink, my sink, everybody's sink. It's, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right. On to a bag that technically should be under the tree. Although I did sneak it out uh, this past weekend and that is the mini bum bag. What can I say? I have completely fallen head over heels in love with this bag. I love it a lot more than I anticipated. I think that it is great. Uh, this past weekend I used it and I couldn't get enough of it. I love using it mostly as a little shoulder bag because of this chain. I love this chain. Uh, it does come with a strap that is removable. I'm not too fond of the strap and it's also adjustable. I'm not too fond of the strap just because it ends up landing right underneath my, right underneath here and it looks a little awkward. So I like that you can take both of them off and incorporate your own strap to give it a longer crossbody option, or just if you wanna add a different chain to give it a completely different look, I don't know. But yeah, I am absolutely 
crazy about this bag and I will definitely be putting it under the tree maybe after I film the comparison video uh, with the one I'm about to show you guys and that is the OG bum bag. So this is a forever handbag in my collection. I absolutely love it. Kind of like the mini bum bag, I really said never to this bag, but I ate my words one letter at a time, happily ate my, uh, ate my words one letter at a time. It is just amazing. Personally, I don't find it to be too large. I love using it uh, as a shoulder bag. Sometimes I'll use it as a crossbody bag. I don't know, but I think it's great. I think it's absolutely wonderful. I could fit a lot of stuff in here. I will never, ever, ever use it as a, as a fanny pack. I don't like that look. But yeah, sometimes I use it as a hand carry bag like this. I don't know, but I, I think it's great. I think it is absolutely great. So. I will be doing a comparison with these two, and then maybe I'll put this guy underneath the tree. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But like I said, it was supposed to be for Christmas, and so far, I have failed at that. I'm getting down to the end, I promise. Next is the Classic Speedy 30 in the monogram or the Mon Mono. I think that this is now called the Heritage Collection. I'll be completely honest with you, I don't really use this bag. Um, I love the colors that I chose because I chose fuchsia and I also chose the white. And I love that with these Heritage handbags uh, or with the Mon Mono, you have the option to change the interior lining and I chose the fuchsia. I think it looks fantastic but I don't really use this bag anymore even though I think it's great even though I do like this size I mostly end up reaching for this one which is the Speedy 25 bandolier crazy crazy about this bag you guys know how I feel about speedies in general and um I will have to freely admit that when it came to the bandolier, it was one of the greatest things that they could have done to this style because it gives you so much versatility. You cannot go wrong with the Speedy, in my opinion. I mean, it is a classic. It is an icon to the fashion house after all. But um, yeah, I use this bag constantly. So whenever I go for, whenever I want to use a monogram Speedy, 99.9% .9 of the time, it's this one. Absolutely. All right, next is the Nano Speedy. This is the older version. Uh, and as you guys can see, uh, it is missing the leather strap because with this one, I was also feeling spicy and the hubs helped me to remove it. And it's the greatest thing I could have ever done because it adds, again, that versatility that I was looking for. I've added different leather straps. I've added chains. And this little Nano Speedy, I mean, this is like a Mary Poppins bag because I have been able to fit a surprising amount of SLGs in here and it blows my mind. And even with everything in there, it's not like, it's not a pain in the butt to take everything out or to put it back in, which is so surprising to me. But again, we are talking about a speedy after all. So what can I say? Next is the Neverfull BB. I love this little bag. I've been using it quite a bit ever since I added it to my collection. I think it's great. This is also a great size because it fits everything that you need and then some. Uh, I do end up using it with the zipper opened up just because it makes it a lot easier to get in and out of the bag. And I also end up using this strap instead instead of the strap that it came with because yeah, I don't do guitar straps. This strap is from Organize My Bag. It's removable, it's adjustable, and look at this. These two look like they were meant to go together, right? I don't know, but sometimes I use it with a strap. Other times it's just like a little hand carry bag, but I think it is absolutely adorable. Plus you guys know how I feel about Neverfulls. And on that note, we are ending this video with the Neverfull MM. So as you guys can tell throughout this video, the MM size is my ideal size. It's not too big, it's not too small. It still has that comfortable strap drop. And uh, I mean, what can I say? These bags are incredible. They're simple, but I mean, I just, I don't care if everyone and their mother has a Neverfull just because they are so insanely functional for me and for my lifestyle and how I like to incorporate them into my life. Uh, I mean, whether it's an everyday bag, a travel bag, uh, people use it as a diaper bag, a school bag, what have you. I mean, it is incredible. Currently, I do have an organizer in here. This is from Zumoni and I wanted to go for a green just to give it a little bit more, a little bit more color. But whether you use an organizer 
organizer or whether you use it like so. I mean, I think that they are fabulous. Plus you can cinch in the sides and give it a different look as well. I don't know, but Never Falls will forever be my jam. All right, you guys. So that does it for my entire Louis Vuitton handbag collection. I don't think I left anything out. No, I don't think so. But I hope that I was able to give you guys a little bit more information on each of these bags, especially if you're looking to add them to your collection. But I love you guys to the moon and back. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.